in fission uranium today is developing 100% owned asset in the western side of the Athabasca called PLS. It's a very shallow, high-grade discovery, which is in northern Saskatchewan in Canada. Well, what's unique about PLS is it's a very large basement hosted high grade uranium deposit that's near surface so it's on the outside of the Athabasca Basin in the southwest side so far it's the biggest and really only known significant showing of, of its kind in the area. What's been discovered here at Patterson Lake South probably hasn't been seen in, in 40 years. This, the scale of this deposit, high grade deposit it's, and shallow deposit it's completely unusual and in the class of really some of the very best deposits in the Athabasca Basin. Well, for uranium, really, this is the address to be looking. Saskatchewan is now recognized as probably the best jurisdiction in the world with respect to the uranium sector. There is a clear regulatory environment in Saskatchewan, so it's an attractive place to, for exploration because if something were to be discovered, there's a clear course on advancing the discovery to production. One of the aspects of, of uranium that has been wholly overlooked is security of supply. You know, when I look around the world and I think about where uranium mines currently reside, I think about Kazakhstan, Niger, Uzbekistan, secondary supply coming out of Russia, that these are jurisdictions where there's significant political risk and where on any given day, you know, a major percentage of the world's supply could come offline, which is that makes the fission project so important. It's residing in Canada. It's sitting in the Athabasca Basin. We have to be very focused. For us, it's mean make sure we're well funded. That means we're in a position of strength to negotiate if we do sell. Meanwhile, have enough money to properly drill, delineate, and explore. It's very unusual to grow a deposit as quickly as we have, which is really over the last 18 months. Uh, we've grown the PLS deposit to be over, uh, you know, a 2.2 kilometer strike length of mineralization. You know, in this type of deposit, in this setting, that's unusually quick. Well, I think for any successful public company, it's very important that the management team's interests are aligned with shareholders. And we've been doing this in 1996. We had the same shareholders started base then, with like some Mr. Rick Rule and Doug Casey. To this day, we still have the shareholders. And I'm still a shareholder. Some of my shares I own today almost go back 18 years. Rather than starting a brand new uranium company, we've always put our assets where the shareholders want to see them and grow it from there. PLS is in a very unique position. It's in the upper quartile of profitable types of mines. So really, regardless of where the, you know, the price of the commodity is, anywhere in the sector cycle, PLS will always be one of those deposits that will be the, the most economical of the bunch. So that's where you know, we think it has a unique position. Our goal is to develop this to the stage where eventually somebody will come buy it. PLS is a high grade ore body. It's open pitable. You do not have to be a uranium company to mine this. You can be a tech, which knows a lot about um, a truck operation, which is an open pit. Rio knows it well. So it actually can be a target of companies because it's simply a high grade ore body that is shallow in a great mining jurisdiction. We sign CAs with Chinese groups, North American groups, and we take them to their property. We have a data room. We've hired bankers to be ready in case someone makes an offer. So we're getting ready, but we don't control that. We just have to be ready for it. <laughs>